Hello traders, welcome to the next World Trading of YouTube channel. So we're going to be looking at the weekly forest forecast for the coming week. If you're new to the channel and wish to be staying updated with our weekly forest forecast, you can do well to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also join the free Telegram community where you can have access to chart analysis. If you're interested in the daily market focus breakdown videos, then you can do well to join the gold membership to have access to the daily market focus breakdown videos. So let's head to the chat to look at the forecast for the coming week. So guys, this is the dollar index and this is the monthly time frame. If you guys can remember vividly last week, I told us to expect to see a pullback into the 50% of this candle body. And then we should actually expect to now see price heading towards the downside for the sell side liquidity into this February gap. This is actually a long term view we are looking at. So what we can see is that price actually violated the 50% of this candle body. Price is returning into the fair value gap here in the monthly time frame. But what we can see our closer draw on liquidity is actually the monthly sell side liquidity and slightly below the monthly sell side liquidity we have the fair value gap. So I'm expecting to see the mitigation of price within this fair value gap and then we have price gives us the bearish continuation to the downside to take out this sell side liquidity. So let's actually drop to the weekly time frame where we can have better perspective to price delivery. So yeah, in the weekly time frame, what you're going to see is this is the monthly fair value gap and you can see slightly below we have the institutional order flow. So you can see we identify the monthly sell side liquidity, the monthly buy side liquidity. And you can see that we have the fair value gap we identify from the monthly time frame. We have this sell side liquidity sweep from the weekly time frame, which we can also see in the monthly time frame. So now what we can see is last week I expected to see that the market will pull back into this candle week, yeah, because when we drop to the lower time frame, the four hour time frame, you're actually going to identify some certain zones we marked out last week. But then what we can see is that price return, but then price for the push to the upside. Price return, and then we do not have the fall of price to the downside to take out this sell side liquidity. So now we can see a bullish momentum candle to the upside, and now price has closed above this weekly fair value gap. So what we can actually identify is that we can see from the daily time frame, I identify this buy side liquidity. And what we can see slightly above this buy side liquidity, we have this inversion fair value gap plus fair value gap. So basically I'm looking at price actually for the push to the upside to take out this buy side liquidity identified in the daily time frame. So when we drop to the daily time frame, you're going to see that. So price should take out this buy side liquidity and then we want to see the mitigation of price within this inverse fair value gap plus the fair value gap because you can see this is the inversion fair value gap in the weekly time frame and this is the fair value gap we have in the weekly time frame so there is a confluence of the inversion fair value gap and the fair value gap and now what we can see is that we have this pullback this is an institutional order flow so i'm expecting to see for the push of price into the zone so for that to actually happen what we can see is we have this bullish candle that gives us this upward movement of price to the upside and then price came to the downside and then took out the low of the bullish candle. So this is a breaker because we have what's price took out sell side liquidity. So I'm expecting to see a pullback of price into this weekly fair value gap for price to mitigate this weekly fair value gap. So the weekly fair value gap now is going to act as an inversion fair value gap. So in confidence, we can see that we have the breaker block zone. So that I want to see price return to the downside to mitigate the breakout block, the inversion fair value gap, and then we have the continuation of price to the upside. So let's actually go to the daily time frame. So here in the daily time frame, what we're actually going to see is that we can see that price took out this swing high points. Price took out this buy side liquidity. So what we can see is this is the weekly breakout block zone and this is the weekly fair value gap, which is not going to act as an inversion fair value gap. It's going to provide support for price to further push to the upside to take out the buy side liquidity I actually showed us in the weekly time frame, which we can clearly see in the daily time frame. Because you can see this is a valid pullback. This is the last bearish candle. Price pushed to the upside to cut the high of the bearish candle. So we have a swing high and then price fell. So this is the buy side liquidity. But what we're actually seeing here in the daily time frame is that price is actually reacting at this order block. So I want to actually see for the coming week that price is actually going to dip lower 
into this inversion cell value gap we identify in the weekly time frame. And you can see we have the weekly breakout block zone. So I want to see the fall of price into this price zone. And then we have the further push of price into this weekly fair value gap. And you can see in confidence to this weekly fair value gap, we have this order block and this institutional order flow. And we can see how price took out this buy side liquidity. So we have buy side liquidity sweep at this high point here. So price created this high and then we have the fall of price to the downside. So I actually want to see price falls into this price zone, the inversion fair value gap. And then we have price for the continue the bullish move into this weekly fair value gap. So let's actually check the four hour time frame. So here in the four hour time frame, what we can see is that price is reacting at the daily order block we actually identified. So we're expecting to see the fall of price to the downside. We have this sell side liquidity here. What we can see is that price mitigated the mean threshold of this fair value gap, fell to the downside, but then the market actually pushed further to the upside and then broke through the mean threshold and also above the weekly fair value gap. So I'm expecting to see the fall of price to the downside and then we frame bullish move to the upside. So this is what I'm expecting to see in the dollar index, the fall of price to the downside. Price may actually mitigate the mean threshold and then push to the upside or we may see price will take out this sell side liquidity, we have this order block here and you can see the breakout block zone. So we could see price fall and then we have price push to the upside. So this is my expectation in the dollar index. So I'm not actually going to drop down to far lower time frame. So in the daily forecast breakdown videos, we're actually going to look at how price delivers and then we'll begin to frame our entries. So but for the dollar index, this is what I'm looking forward to to see the fall of price, price may take out the sell side liquidity and then we continue the bullish move to the offside. So guys, let's check out the Euro USD. So guys, let's have a look at the Euro USD and this is a monthly time frame. We'll have the buy side liquidity, the sell side liquidity. We have this internal buy side liquidity sweep. So what we can actually see, we have this internal sell side liquidity, but I'm expecting to see a bullish push of price to take out the buy side liquidity. So what we can see in the monthly time frame and this is the monthly implied fair value gap so we're expecting to see for the deep of price into this implied fair value gap we want to see how price is going to reject at the mean threshold and then we have the continuation of price to the upside to take out this buy side liquidity so let's check out the weekly time frame so here in the weekly time frame we can see that within the monthly implied fair value gap zone we can see we have this institutional order flow in the weekly time frame and you can see we have this order block. So I'm expecting to see the push of price to the downside. All we can identify is that we have this bearish market structure shift to the downside. I'm expecting to see price will fall further to the downside into this monthly implied fair value gap, which you can also identify. We have this institutional order flow and we have this order block. So I'm expecting to see how price dips into the zone and then we frame a bullish move to the offside because we are actually looking forward to see price sweeps this buy side liquidity and also this buy side liquidity. So we're still expecting to see more fall of price to the downside for the coming week in the Euro USD. So let's check out the daily time frame. So here in the daily time frame, we can clearly see that we have this approximately equal lows or we can see we have this sell side liquidity. So you can see this is the monthly implied fair value gap we actually mapped out. You can also see that we saw that as institutional order flow in the weekly time frame. So what we can see here in the daily time frame, we have this sell side liquidity within that zone and we can see slightly below the sell side liquidity, we have this fair value gap and we have this order block. So I want to see that price would actually pull back to the upside into this daily inversion fair value gap in confluence to the fair value gap also. And then we have the fall of price to the downside to actually take out this relatively equal lows and also the sell side liquidity. So we may actually see that price would deem to take out the relatively equal lows and then we have the pullback before we have the continuation to the downside. So in extension, what I'm basically saying is that I'm expecting to see price pulls back and then we have price falls to the downside before we can actually frame any form of a bullish move of price to the upside to take out the buy side liquidity. So let's actually check the four hour time frame. So here in the four hour time frame, what we can actually identify is in confidence to the daily inversion fair value gap, we actually identify what we can see. We have this order block. So, and we can see this pool of liquidity. 
So we could see the possibility that price would actually return to actually mitigate this, fill up this inefficiency, take out this buy side liquidity, and then we have the fall of price to the downside to take out the sell side liquidity, mitigate and fill up this fair value gap, and then mitigate the last institutional order flow we are seeing here in the four hour time frame. And then we can now begin to frame a bullish push of price to the upside. So the first expectation is to see more for the bearish move of price to the downside into this zone, take out the relatively equal lows, the sell side liquidity, before we have ourselves to frame any form of a bullish move of price to the upside. So let's check out the GBP USD pair. Guys, this is GBP USD pair. And this is also the monthly time frame in the GBP USD pair. What we can see is that price filled up this monthly fair value gap. So we can see our price broke through the monthly fair value gap. We have this buy side liquidity run. We have this internal sell side liquidity on it, not rated. You can see the external sell side liquidity. So what we can see is that now price broke through the monthly fair value gap, which is now a monthly inversion fair value gap. So we're looking forward to see how this is going to offer support for price and then push price to the upside. And in confidence to the monthly inversion fair value gap, you can see we have this implied fair value gap. I'm expecting to see for the deep of price to the downside before we can actually frame any form of a bullish move of price to the upside. So in the GBP USD pair also, we're still expecting that coming week, we're going to see for the bearish push of price. And then we look forward to actually now frame the bullish move of price to the upside. So let's actually check the weekly time frame. So here in the weekly time frame, what we can see is last week we identified this fair value gap where we are actually expecting to see that the market will actually fill up the fair value gap before we have any form of a bearish move to the downside. But then we can see price left that zone unmitigated and unfilled. So we can see what we have is this weekly sell side liquidity. So you can see within the inversion fair value gap we identify in the monthly time frame and also the implied fair value gap we identify. You can see we have this fair value gap and you can see we have this unmitigated order block. So I'm expecting to see for the bearish move. If you can remember in the Euro USD, we saw that price took out the sell side liquidity and then give us a market structure shift, a bearish market structure shift. But here you can see in the GBP USD, we still have this sell side liquidity not yet rated. So I'm expecting to see for the push of price to the downside. Price will take out the sell side liquidity, mitigate the implied fair value gap, the monthly inversion fair value gap. We can see this fair value gap here in the weekly time frame before we can actually frame a bullish move of price to the upside. So let's check the daily time frame. So here in the daily time frame, we can also see we have the sell side liquidity. So this is actually our drawn liquidity because we can see the momentum with which price is actually falling to the downside. And we can see we have this order block here. So we are expecting to see for the push of price into the zone before we can actually frame a bullish move to the upside. So in the GBP USD pair, we are still expecting for the bearish move of price to the downside. So let me actually drop to the four hour time frame so that we can identify possible zones. So what we can see in the four hour time frame is we are expecting to see that price will actually take out this buy side liquidity. So our expectation is to see the push of price to the outside into this institutional order flow zone. And then we actually frame the bearish move of price to the downside into the monthly inversion fair value gap, the implied fair value gap, before we can actually consider framing any form of a bullish move of price to the upside, take out this buy side liquidity, fill up the fair value gap zone we identify from the weekly time frame. So this is what I have to show you guys in the GBP USD pair. So let's check out the gold pair, the USDCHF, the USD JPY pair also. So guys, if you're actually interested in the mentorship program, you can actually join the diamond membership that is where you can have access to the mentorship program so that you can have a better understanding to our trading methodology so guys let's look at the usd jpy up here so guys this is usd jpy so we're going to be looking at what we are expecting for the coming week so what we can see is that price actually failed to take out the sell side liquidity so what we can see is we have this breakout below because this is the last bullish move of price to the upside that sponsored this bearish move that took out this sell side liquidity so what we can see is we have this high as a buy side liquidity. So this is actually our drawn liquidity and we have this weekly fair value gap. So I'm expecting to see the pullback of price to the downside to actually mitigate this breakout block. And then we have the push of price into this weekly fair value gap. So let's actually check the daily time frame. So here in the daily time frame, what we can see is that 
we have this daily fair value gap, which is now going to act as an inversion fair value gap to actually provide support for price, to push price further to the upside. So we can see this is the weekly fair value gap we actually identify and we can see this institutional order flow. So we are still expecting for the bullish move of price in the USD in JQY pair. So, and this is the breakout block price level zone we identify. So we can see how price took out this order block, which is also in confluence to the breakout block zone in the weekly time frame. So I'm expecting to see price actually falls to the downside to actually mitigate this order block that price actually violated to the upside. So we could see the return of price to the downside and then we have the continuation of price to the upside. So if price actually is going to dip more lower to the downside, then I'm expecting to see that price will dip to this daily fair value gap, which is now an inversion fair value gap. And then we have the continuation of price to the upside. So this is what I'm actually expecting to see in the USD JPY pair. So let's actually check the four hour time frame. So here in the four hour time frame, what we can see is that we actually have this trend to the upside. So we can see that price is actually going to dip lower to the downside and then we can begin to frame the bullish move of price to the upside. So I'm more interested in the bullish move than in the bearish move because we can see that from the weekly time frame, we actually have a bullish momentum candle to the upside. So this is what I'm actually expecting to see in the USD JPY. In the daily forex market focus breakdown videos, we're then going to look at how price delivers and then we can begin to frame entries from the zones we are going to identify when the market opens. So guys, let's check out the USD CHF pair. This is the USD CHF pair and this is actually the monthly time frame. We have our sell side liquidity and the buy side liquidity. And we have this internal sell side liquidity. Actually, what we can see is our closest drawn liquidity is actually the sell side liquidity. So I'm still expecting to see for the push up price to the downside. But we are expecting to see for the bullish move into this implied fair value gap in confluence to this fair value gap we are actually seeing in the monthly time frame. But the overall is to see how price is going to mitigate this particular zone and then we have the continuation for price to take out the sell side liquidity and first actually take out the internal sell side liquidity. So let's check the weekly time frame. So here in the weekly time frame, what we can identify is in confluence to the implied fair value gap we actually identify in the monthly time frame, you can see we have this institutional order flow that sponsored this bullish move. Price returned into it, fill up the fair value gap, and then price broke through this institutional order flow. And then we can see how it reclaimed price. Price broke through this, broke through, and then we can see it was reclaimed by price. And now price further fell to the downside. So what we can see is that price left this weekly fair value gap. You know, since from the previous two weeks, I told us to expect to see price returning into this weekly fair value gap to take out this buy side liquidity before we can have any consideration of a bearish move to take out this sell side liquidity and an extension on this sell side liquidity. So what we're going to see is since we're actually having a very bullish momentum in the DXY, so we can see the possibility of price continuing the bullish move to the upside into this implied fair value gap zone we identify in the monthly time frame in confluence also to the monthly fair value gap. So what we can see now is we have this bullish movement of price to the upside, price fell to the downside, failing to take out this sell side liquidity. And then now we can see how price returned into this weekly fair value gap. So I'm expecting to see how price will pull back since price created this order block, a price will pull back from this weekly fair value gap since we can see price fail to close above the main threshold. So I'm expecting to see the deep of price and then we frame bullish move of price into this price zone. So I'm expecting to see for the bullish move in the USD CHF pair. So let's check out the daily time frame. So here in the daily time frame, what we can identify is within the implied fair value gap, so we're identifying the monthly time frame and also the fair value gap. You can see we have this unmitigated order block and we have this fair value gap. So I'm expecting to see how price will actually return to the downside to actually mitigate this rejection block that price actually broke through. So I want to see how price return into this zone mitigates this zone to the downside and then we frame the bullish move of price to the offside. So I am more interested in the bullish move because we may see price take out this buy side liquidity. So I'm expecting to see the pullback and then we frame our entry to actually push price to the offside. 
So let's check the four hour time frame. So what we can see in the four hour time frame is we can also see we have this institutional order flow, and we can see we have this fair value gap. So I'm expecting to see how price dips to the downside, and then we can take our buy position from the zone to actually push price to the upside into the monthly implied fair value gap zone and the fair value gap zone we identify in the monthly time frame. And you can see we have this for our inversion fair value gap. So I'm looking forward to take a bullish move in the USDCHF pair. So this is gold and this is a weekly time frame. So, you know, last week I told us to expect to see price would dip into this weekly fair value gap and then we can have the push of price to the upside to take out the buy side liquidity. All we can see is that price actually dip lower but then not into the weekly fair value gap. And then where we actually drop to the daily time frame, we identify also a fair value gap zone where we said we can actually expect to see price actually buy from. And that is what actually happened last week. So now what we can see, we have this sell side liquidity. We have this unmitigated fair value gap. So I'm expecting to see price deep into this fair value gap before we have the continuation of price. So this is our sell side liquidity. So I want to see price takes out the sell side liquidity before we can actually have further push of price to the outside. So let's check out the daily time frame. So here in the daily time frame, you can see this was the fair value gap we identified last week. So I told us to actually wait to see the delivery of price and then we can actually frame a bullish move from this daily fair value gap. Identify an institutional order flow zone in the four hour time frame, I think, or the one hour time frame to actually help us take a bullish move when we see the rejection of price within this daily fair value gap. And you can see that is what actually happened in the market. So now what we can see is we have price created the sell side liquidity and we have the unmitigated weekly fair value gap. In confidence, we have this institutional order flow, we have this order block. So I'm expecting to see price deep lower before we have the continuation to the upside. So let's check the four hour time frame. So here's the four hour time frame. If you can remember last week, we actually identified this trend line liquidity, expecting to see price would actually return to the downside to take out this trend line liquidity into the weekly fair value gap zone before we have the bullish move, or we could see price respect the daily fair value gap in respect to this institutional order flow that we actually identify clearly in the one hour time frame. And we can see how price return into this institutional order flow and then give us the bullish move, but then price failed to take out the buy side liquidity. And we can see how price is still ranging within the daily fair value gap. So now what we can see is I'm expecting to see the price will fall, take out the sell side liquidity, this trend line liquidity, mitigate the weekly fair value gap in confidence with this order block we've seen here. And then we can begin to actually frame a bullish move of price to the upside. So for the good pair, I'm still expecting to see if price takes out this low, I'm expecting to see a pullback to retest for the fall of price to the downside before we can actually begin to frame the bullish move of price to the upside to take out the buy side liquidity. Let's drop to the one hour time frame so that I'll show you guys the institutional order flow zone identified last week. So if you guys can remember, this is actually that institutional order flow zone we identified last week. And we can see how price returned into that. And you can see respect to the main threshold. And we had the bullish move. So I'm expecting to see if price takes out the sell side liquidity. We want to see the four price return retest. And then we have four into the weekly fair value gap before we can actually frame any form of a bullish move of price to the offside. So guys, if you're actually interested in the mentorship program, you can actually join the Diamond membership. You can see what you're going to actually have access to is introduction to Forex. You can have the second episode, which is the Forex market players. We have the suitable criteria that is necessary for selecting a broker, Forex currency pairs, the bid and ask price, how to read currency pairs. You also going to look at the Forex pips, pips value, lot sizes, leverage, uh, matching, and all of the Forex terminologies. We're also going to look at the mastering of Forex orders and analysis, the candlestick psychology and the pattern formations, market structure and the fractal nature of price delivery, Forex institutional order flow, everything institutional market structure. And this particular YouTube mentorship gets updated on a weekly basis. So for the coming week, we're actually going to make available the next episode, which is actually going to be the 11th episode. So cheers, guys, and I wish you a profitable trading week. I'll see you guys in the next video.